Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today's wisdom will be coming from out of the book of Galatians. Galatians chapter 5, verse 23, it says, Meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Today I want to talk about be meek. Be meek. The year to be in 2023, God wants us to be meek. Of course, we've been dealing with the fruit of the Spirit, of course, and uh, uh, we have shared with you the first three is Godward, the second three is manward, and the third three is is selfward. Of course, the fruit of the Spirit, that is, they are the nature of Christ. They are the character of God. They are the heart of Christ, of course. And if we're going to uh, operate in these, it's so imperative that we be connected to the true vine. Of course, the true vine is Christ, of course, and the Father is the vine dressed to the husbandman, and we are the branch, of course. The sap runs through the vine upon the branch, of course, and the fruit is produced. It is so important that we stay connected to God through the present power of the Holy Spirit spirit uh, so that we can manifest the fruit of the spirit. It is the fruit of the spirit, not the fruit of our flesh. And of course, God wants us to manifest meekness. Of course, in meekness is not weakness. Meekness is is to 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 hold restraint of course it is to is to be saddle broken of course is to have power under under control of course in number chapter 12 verse number three it described moses as the most humblest and meekest man upon the face of the earth. Of course, in Matthew chapter 5, verse 5, as Jesus was dealing with the, the Beatitudes or the attitudes to be, he said, blessed are the meek they shall inherit the earth. The word blessed in the Greek is mokirios. It means to be fortunate, to be well off, or to be happy. He says, listen, if you want to be blessed and happy and well off, here's the requirement. You have to be, you have to be meek. You have to have a humble spirit. You have to be, you have to hold restraint. You have to have power under control. And he says, when you do that, then he says, he'll reward you with the earth. Of course, the greatest example was Jesus Christ himself. Of course, as he was going to, to Calvary and as he was being arrested, being led to be crucified, he could have called his father and he could have sent 12 legion of angels. But the Bible says he humbled himself unto the point of death, even the death of the cross. He submitted to the Father. Therefore, God had given him a name greater than any other name, that at the name of Jesus, uh, every, every knee must bow and every tongue must confess. Listen, if you want the reward of God, God says, then you have to operate in the spirit of meekness. I pray the word of God has blessed you on today as always. Today will be better than yesterday and tomorrow will be better than today. Why was trying to live better, be better, and do better. I am happy I am healthy and I am holy. Be meek.